All right, so good afternoon again, everyone. Welcome again to our teaching physics, earth, science in elementary. So, Kim, do we have some recap from previous things that we did last time? Hello, Miss. Can I discuss about science? And what else? Oh God, importance and why we should can I study science? Okay. So last week we actually had several things and topics that was shared upon. So we tried to check on how we will be get connected and run through with our courses. We also assign some leaders or managers in our group to give us a good flow. And somehow you have a glimpse on our syllabus and the requirements that you will be needing in our discussion and the lesson one, which is a review of science and the things alike. So remember our rules to be always on time, to act like you're in school, so participation is highly encouraged. Sit properly so that you'll not feel sleepy there because our time is a holy hour. So it's time that is to get siesta. So keep yourself muted so that we will not also include the background noises. Turn on your video if you need to do so, if you are um, answering or you are in the discussion. Then raise your hand if you want to talk or there's a raised hand button there if you have some questions. Listen, it's very important. You can eat as long as you don't open your microphones or show your food to us because your friends might get hungry or you'll be tempted to uh, start a conversation. And let's have fun as we try to do our best in here. Okay, so once again, attendance is very important. And for the recap of our prelim activities, we'll have a lot of teaching activities, discussion, breakout rooms, conversation, quiz, lesson planning is our start up for prelim. For midterm, hopefully learning materials and assessment will be done, which includes test paper, creating some quizzes. By the way, prelim will be on February 15. Oh, diba? After mo maglipay-lipay, sana all na ikalipay, no? Sa February 14. February 15 is the start of prelim examination. Then for finals, hopefully we will have teaching demonstration and the compilation of your digital portfolio. All right, so last time we discussed regarding what is science, the definition of science, and how these systematic things evolved into our world and why they play an important value. We can trace back also the ancient Egypt where a lot of inventions, a lot of tools and materials were created by these people and somehow the connection of astrology has been evolving and why they use these things and recently this time science is now a science of criminology both it can be a weapon for us to forge against any diseases any viruses or pandemic that would cause alarm to the humanity but it can also be a product of one's knowledge to kill for euthanasia abortion and even other forms of um, crime that can be done. I also showed to you a short clip, a compilation of the different individuals of the scientists that were famous long time ago and how they contributed into the science world with all those various branches. Now this time we'll try to remember what are those branches of science and how they are defined. Now on the chat, I want you to name at least um, mention branches of science that you know. Sigebe on the chat, astronomy. Okay, what else? can see your answers, astronomy, botany, biology, physics, zoology, chemistry, genetics. Wow, I can see a lot of your nice interaction. 
you also have here uh, physics. I love physics. Chemistry, botany. Okay, good. Now, geology, botany. So nice. I think are these courses you already took last time with the other teachers in science or from CAS department? Because in my time, we have not Sci 1 and not Sci 2. And of course, with a science major, they have their own teachers who also uh, taught them several things. And also, last time, we had our strategy in teaching science no, for young kids. So this time around, let's try to venture them one at a time. As I um, share to you this Prezi presentation with the different branches of science. So as we know, there are a lot of branches of science and it's up to you, it's up to us whether we really gauge ourselves in enjoying that specific branch or we hooked into that particular branch. I think the branches that you've mentioned somehow are dear to you or you enjoyed a lot of the information that was shared by your teachers probably. So there are 15 branches of science in which it is integrated into the curriculum and subjects for young children, even until you are in the university or college level. So in order to understand why these are given special efforts, we need to trace back also the history and the natural cause of these things, how these elements are essential into the world being. Okay, first, um, I took this one from Prezi presentation. So as what I've mentioned, the world that we are compelled to is always a world of science. Everywhere you look, there's always science, just like the technology, your cell phone, your device. It's everywhere. The moment we wake up in the morning, the breathing, gravity, or even the reasons why we still live a life, able to rest, to sleep, or get um, not feeling well or feeling hungry later on, we have reasons to be aligned in science. So first, we will define physics. Who among you here enjoys their senior years where they had to learn physics with all those different laws, theories, and dynamism of your experiments? So physics is more on the study of the matter and why they are contributing to the space and time, right? Like in physics, we can always remember these things from the law of motion, the law of attraction, and the law of inertia. Okay, so remember this, the, this one that anything in, in the world that we are about to experience, there are always um, things that are questionable, and we always answer things with experiment and um, even a lot of explanation. So Aya here is asking what is the difference between physical science and physics? So more or less, I actually shared this one last time. So physics is more on the laws of the world, diba? and physical science is the application itself. Maybe um, Enrico can help me explaining these things. Enrico, can you help me or give us an um, idea with the physical science and physics? I miss. Um, pardon, miss? Difference between physical science and physics. Physical science. Go on. Kung mo talk about lang to sa physics, physical science means I think it's talk about go on. Kanang kanang di siya study o um he does not study um living things well the physical science I uh, well the physics is uh, more on biological 
Okay, thank you, Enrico. So actually, uh, if you would try to research further, the top most here is like physical science. So it's divided into two things, man. So physical science and the applied science. So physical science under Ninia C physics, which is the study of matter, forces, energy. So must big umbrella say physical science. And actually physics is under physical science. Okay. So just like what we've discovered regarding Isaac Newton, he said that everything should uh, fall down because of the gravity or everything would uh, fall into place. Sana all no ma fall just like how he fell in love with you, Charot. Okay. So next we have geology what are the things that you remember regarding geology yes guys so geology we remember the study of the earth so in the recent times right now there are a lot of geologies of uh, paleontology they are actually having some experimentation and they would look into the depths of the earth and they literally found a lot of ancient things and they study with with a year with um with its experimentation on why these things are hidden treasures around the world or even here in the localities of cebu there are exper um, experienced scientists who also study the treasures that they got underneath from the maybe blasting from SRP, blasting from uh, the tunnel near in the mumbling road. So when we go back to geologies, they usually have the study of the earth, geo, which means earth. So the history, the substance and the process that we act on it. Now, next one, we have myth. Meteorology. Then who can remember what are the things that are being discussed for meteorology? What can you recall? You may chat your answers. Um, it studies weather means like for forecast, climate, something like that. Correct. So these things deal more with the study of our climate and weather so in in our times we usually have things that is being shown to us by the pagasa so this has uh, some weathermen weather experts they usually study the wind the composition of our cloud seeding and how it affects also to the environment right and right now we have issues on global warming and climate change because of the different temperatures that is going on around the world so we will try to deal on those things also so not meteorologists lain masad ng mga meteors so we have another one who among you here loves chemistry the combination of the different things that are combined so chemistry i'll ask someone to read this is our third year right we really enjoy the different elements okay can you remember what is au what element is A, you guys? If you gold. Know. gold. How about K? K? Potassium. Potassium. F, E? Iron. Iron. Okay, very Iron. good. How about silver? A, G. A very good. How about magnesium? M, G. Mg. Mg means. Oh, but how about hydrogen? H. 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 All right, you did see that. Okay. Stack knowledge, miss. Ha. Mga may lagi kayo mo guys. 
Or how about the electron configuration? Can you remember about it? What are the letters for electron configuration? Yes. Yes. Very what? good, guys. You have uh, some block <coughs> idea Pagyun, about this one. I can remember this one. My teacher was very terror and you need to really memorize these things and do the balancing. Who among you here loves the oxidation number and balancing? No, miss. Listen, kayo. Okay. <laughs> so, no, miss. Kabuy so, miss. It's like a miracle why we were able to pass those things. Okay, so I'm not expert on those elements, but somehow we will try to think of strategy how we can really share those things to our children. So chemistry, it's the study of how we deal with the identification of substance and what they are composed about. So for Enrico, for Enrico what if you're your teaching demo will be about chemistry will it be doable you will you take the challenge and also christine <laughs> um when it comes to balancing is opera or something like that okay sana all no kabalong mo balance <laughs> so we have christine pearl here how about christine pearl okay Yes. Uh, if you have problems in your topics regarding science, you can ask these two smart soul who really loves science since they are the science majors. So hopefully you will really immerse guys as one of our top notchers. Okay, wala po yung top notchers sa science guys. So study gid mo maayo ani. So let's continue. We'll have oceanography please read christian albarando an oceanographer studies stuff that deals with the physical and biological properties of phenomena of the sea okay thank you for this one we have um our dear sir rex villaveles he is somehow uh more or less he deals with those properties in the sea his uh He's a photographer, a diver, photographer, and a researcher that deals with the things in the ocean, things that are shown in the marine life. So if you want to learn more about the ocean and how we can be of help to our environment, basically on the marine life and water forms, uh, you may contact Mr. Rex Villaveles with the study of the different oceanography. So I have my friends in San Carlos. They are marine biology so the they teach these things to their to the students in um in university of san carlos and what they had is that they actually were given some up scholarship so for three years they will not teach in the department of usc but they will just study but then they still receive salary or oh, enrico you might be like that or christine you will have further studies and what they do for example they go to palawan they were funded and they would just swim mermaids and mga serena no they would swim to palawan to um jensen and they would for example if they would find some corals or this place has been they need um, rehabilitation of this particular place, they would create some research or they would create some proposals. And because of that, they are the ones who discovered that there are a lot of clams that are being um, protected this time. A lot of um, policies and laws that are being passed because you really need to go to these places and um, Muru Ami is actually one of the detrimental activities that they do in in the places in Mindanao. Young children are the ones who are hired to do some Muru Ami that they really go down to the deeps of the water without any gear. Huh? Yeah, this would cause be a makabungol or other physical um, deformities to the lives of the children. So next one, next study is we have your favorite zoology, the study of the structure of animals, physiology, 
classification and the distribution. So, what are the terms that you can remember from zoology, guys? What are the terms? Diba katung mga phylum, mga class. What else? So, this one is from the zoologia, the study of the kingdom of animals and all the general things about it. So, mga kingdom, animalia, and asapatano. Now, how do we use these things in zoology? So, we have significance of the behavior and why we act the way they do or why animals react the way they are, diba? And both, they, they can be descriptive and analytic. So, what are the famous example of course they study a lot of things with what is the study of fish can you remember what are the study of fish the study of insects study of birds how about the study of Organisms, mga study of tissues. Organisms. histology. Yes, histology, study of tissues. tissues. How about the study of mammals? Sayun ra kayo ni. Mammalogy. Apa, study of birds. Hindi, joke ra kayo ko. Yes, mammalogy, study of oh, mammals, mammalogy. study of birds. Ornithology. Ornithology. Yes. Very good. How about the study of some amphibians and reptiles? Amphibiology. Herpetology. Herpetology. And all those things, no? So, grabi kita mag study ani before, memorize good ni nato. And how are we going to deal this one to our young children and even to the high school students? Next, one of my favorite paleontology. So, the study of the fossils, both from the animals, maybe also from people, and even for the plants and they study usually the structure and the year of these fossils and there are a lot of things that evolve already with this paleontology now what can you remember regarding your lessons on paleontology guys Mm, Dilir siya ako anis, um, fossils ang um, study, but it includes fungi, bacteria. Okay, thank you for that additional information. So, of course, no, um, the only, some of the living organisms that are not seen from the eyes, mga fungus, bacteria, sa pa mga microorganisms. Okay, let's continue. Then we have astronomy. Who among you here enjoys astronomy? Okay, can you see my slides? Someone is taking control of our presentation. Oh, give me back the control. What is my slide? Astronomy, miss. Astronomy, miss. Astronomy, miss. Okay, thank you. So, as you can see, astronomy is the one that studies more on the celestial objects, even the stars, the space, and the physical universe as a whole. Now, can you tell me what is your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Gemini. Aquarius. Aquarius. Celestial bodies. Scorpio. Oh, diba? In some mga Gemini, I am Gemini here. And then sometimes... We looked into the message or ang mga sinasabi ng mga tala at ang mga ano, horoscope. Hindi <laughs> ka na kuan. Dapat 
Ang imuhang ma partner is compatible with you. You might have different zodiac signs and all sa panasya. But in science, astronomer or astronomy is the study of celestial body, the space, and even the galaxies alike. And Milky Way is just one of the many galaxies. So kadaku biya sa sa ano no sa universe and um, the celestial body. And right now, the um, there's a branch here in the Philippines. They usually invite us to join with them with kind of mga meteor showers, the things that is inviting us to really observe what is going on into the heavenly bodies. Ba? Did you join those people or kind of mga blue moon? Big moon, sa pana, mga red moon, different kinds of moon, na siya yung mga different names. And these things gives also uh, a wonder for us, ba, that what is really up there. And a lot of expedition has been created that before it was impossible for man to go to the moon. But now, wa na nagpuyo na sila dito, nag chill na sila niya, pwede ra sila mag nag park, mo park ra ganit sila dito no sa outer space. So sana all na ay mga Filipinas who will be able to join this expedition and experiment. Next one, we have medicine. So this deals more on the diagnosing, treating even preventing illnesses and the diseases and the injuries. So this is a very big chunk, um, very vast discussion regarding medicine. It would take like 10 years to study, especially those who are taking up um, mag doctor or even experts on their field. Next, we have agriculture. So this is still branch of science where it deals to the practice of livestock. So scientists who study with this agriculture is called the agriculturist and somehow it may we might uh, somehow belittle them but their this kind of business is actually promising a lot of people are venturing into farming poultry raising and even to the livestock because the money they say it's really promising if you have these things, but it also takes a lot of hard work like the permits, the environment where you will place your businesses. So if you go to the now in particular, there are a lot of livestock there. So daghan dito ang mga kaitlugan, mga manukan, babuyan, if you go to places. Why did you, ano, Rufino? Are you looking for Rufino? Oh, please let him join us. So hopefully, you know, if we have a lot of money, we can have uh, this livestock raising, which is very promising. Next, anatomy, the study of the different forms of the animal, particularly also to our human body, the structure. And we include the different names, scientific terms for the different anatomy. So we can recall this one. We had a lot of these in our grade 5 and 6. And somehow with the, I think, second year. Mubalik-balik region ni sila, guys. Then for the last one, biochemistry. So they deal more on the components of the proteins, the structure, the cellular composition of our body at the same time in the environment alike. Next, who among you enjoys being with the plants? Mga plantita. So we have botany. The study of plant includes the fungi, algae, viruses, and all those different flowering plants, seed-bearing plants, or even mga cactus and all those things that are indoor or outdoor so during the quarantine the lockdown a lot of people are enjoying the barter trading or even buying a lot of plants but you really need to know the kind of plant okay sometimes if too much ni mo siya diligan madaot siya if wala po siya care wala siya water madaot po siya diba 
mamatay ra yun ang relationship guys so sama ra na sa inyong mga love life din ha so you need to know the person you need to know the plant so that you will give the enough care enough watering and enough words to say di ba kung imong pasagdan amo na mawa mo dai down ra ang love or relationship ganon okay number 14 genetics so this deals with hereditary so for example okay you really took good care no because you know that it's it would take time good things would beautiful things take time until you will have your children so with heredity heredity yes with heredity you might encounter if maanak in the future the strand of hair is it curly kinky ang mga physical features so it's very important and when we deal that one with a study of genes and for example if you need to know the person by tracing back the background history of mga medical history guys kay waka ka bao ka na imong mauyab dira oi nang uyab nimo kay nana slim nga kaliwat nga unsa ba mentally challenged or mga diseases diba kay it's hereditary man so careful jud ka kinsa imong mabana maybe you have recessive trait nya siya pud nasa cherry recessive trait nya mapunta sa inyong anak ma dominant trait siya had look ayo ang ang world okay so know your background check if paano na sila ipa census o ipa ci na inyong mga uyab din ha kay karong panahon na daghan na guys sa news feed ang mga kabit-kabit sa paning ipakita sa ato ang television and all but we go back to really praying for the best person so dapat safe lang gyud ang imong ma in a relationship mo kakabaw diri kay pagkita ninyo single unya pag home pero na dito anak dito Mindanao or dito sa Luzon di ba nya nag chat chat ra mo na ila dra ka nya dili ra bi akay ron mo viral ang mga videos especially kabit kabit mo ana ma curious gyud ta ato jug i share like hit the notification button dayon ta okay 15 the study of the behavior of humans and we have that one psychology so this is also a big branch of science where it is offered in the cast department the study of um, mental functions so when i was in fourth year called, uh, high school there are two courses that i want to take physical science or physics math in san carlos and the other one is psychology so i took my uh I had um, one week in physics math in San Carlos, but then, ni balhin ko sa nose, okay? Taganaga man ko guys, nya every day man ko mag commute, yeah, ma himatay man ko kay mag mag vomit man ko before. So my twin who was already enrolled in USJR, he knows what he wants, must come, and he really likes it to be san in San Jose. So, ako nag San Jose, san ko, and there is no, during my time, there is no major in science. Wala man nag offer sa USJR before. So, I, I only heard special education. So, I thought before, di ba, kada morag special class, kay sa science man, no? special class is given to especially sa mga sciences man siya so muna yung mention sa secretary so i said okay special education lang ma'am basta ka na science i didn't know that special education is about special children mga mga buang buang mo man akong mga uh, mindset before but little did i know that it was also hitting uh, two birds with one stone because i'm like a psychologist because i need to study the kid and i'm a sped teacher and now I really didn't expect that I would be in the college department teaching you guys. So that was all about the 15 branches that um, we have for science. Let's go back to our discussion. Now, along with the sciences, which branch do you like the most and what are the me the memories that you can remember so i will put you on the breakout room so i want you to discuss what are those funny moments that um you had and 
what are the things that you look forward to if given the chance that you'll be teaching them to your students? So I will group you by groups of three so so that you can also mingle you will you will be able to participate okay are you ready ready na lang miss okay i'll put you into the breakout room so since um I'll just give you, so I'll create seven so that you have, okay, so you enjoy your time. I'll give you five minutes to share your thoughts. What is the branch of science that you like the most? What are the things that you enjoyed and how will you be able to teach them in the future? And then you select one reporter later on, okay? All right, enjoy your time. Angelica, why are you still here?
Okay, guys, how are you so far? How was your sharing? So choose one from each of your group who will be your reporter or sharer or what transpired from your sharing. Our group one. Experiment. Yes, Paul. Enrico? Are you from group one, Enrico? Or who will share first? Enrico. Pedera kami, miss. Okay, go. Go, Chaska. Oh, kami ni, sa group 7 ni um, sa Changzon. So, among, um, wait lang, ako sa Ihan ay, we shared um, about our experiences sa science, sa subject. So, first question nga akong i-ask nila is, are they most interested in? So, um, Christian answered botany. Um, Chong answered chemistry. Physics. Um, but our common kind of interest is chemistry because kind of shared about same me of experiences na kanang mag balance kani miss maglubana yung balance nga kanang kuno ay serious pa kuno ka ayo focus sa own nga paper then the end kay iligtan ako ini compare sa answer sa tupad <laughs> and sa tupad and sa tupad and ko sa pa pwede ma-ask kay kanang dili kanang lahi nga answer but so ang ending <laughs> ang pinagbabawal na technique mangutana na lang unsa jud answer <laughs> then <laughs> kanang inana but kanang we agreed nga kanang despite the fact that we had our answers wrong we still had fun trying our best to understand how to balance it. So, kanang mga no regrets at all. Even if sayop siya, at least we tried. At least nami experiences. At least we learned from, ah, oh, okay. Oh, minani day siya. Pero kanang disclaimer, wala namin hinumduman bisag usah karon. So, and about um um the period, uh, kana periodic table, pag, pag, si pangana na? Pag memorize kay, um, required man to just sa una. So, the heavy try of memorize mang mang buto na ang kanang 